Hey guys, welcome back to Zachblog. So, as you guys know, recently we've gotten the Wanhao Duplicator i3. So today we're going to take a look at it, and I'm going to tell you guys how I feel about it. Let's go! So, as you guys know, I ordered this Wanhao Duplicator i3 from digitmakers.ca, and when I ordered the printer, full disclosure, they sent me a few rolls of PLA, uh, including this gold and the wood filament. Um, they sent me those for free, but that is not going to affect this review at all. This is going to be full, open and honest opinions about this printer. Right off the bat, i got to say it's pretty awesome. There are a couple modifications you're going to want to make to it, but other than that, out of the box, this thing is incredible. But don't take my word for it. Look at these prints. This is in the wood filament. This is just the Viking long... Viking Longboat from Thingiverse. I, I'll put the link in, even though I put it in the other video. We've also printed off the Nefertiti bust. This thing turned out incredible. It's completely hollow. I uh, used Mesh Mixer to uh, reduce the polygon count and flatten the bottom. Adafruit did the same thing, but they also hollowed the headpiece. I didn't want the hollow headpiece. Well, it's hollow, but it's not like... There's not a giant hole in it. I didn't want the giant hole. But it turned out awesome. I've printed off a quadcopter frame. This thing's pretty strong, like... Okay, I broke it. That's not the fault of the printer, I just... Didn't print them in uh, ABS or any stronger materials. Just printed them in PLA at like 50% infill, so. I've printed off the Maze gift box from Thingiverse. I have no idea how to solve this thing right at this moment. Solved it a few times, but I just went and closed it. Uh, this thing does multicolor. It's actually got a pause button. If you remember my M3D review, I kind of complained about the pause button a lot. I have a pause button now. Speaking of the pause button, check out this really cool multicolored print. This is the Deadpool logo. Uh, this was designed and uploaded to Thingiverse by Joel Telling, the 3D printing nerd. I'll put a link to his channel here, maybe a link to his Thingiverse over here. This model is a really great example of like using different colors in a single print. So you've got your white layer on the bottom, then you've got a black layer in the middle, and then you've got a red layer on the top. We'll take a closer look in a minute. One of my favorite prints right here. I printed off Bender in gray. This is printed in ABS. This thing turned out amazing. So let's take a closer look at some of these prints. Keep in mind these are all at point two, except so I'll show this one. This one's at point one. You can barely see any of the lines. Bender. That's at point two. This is with Affinia Silver uh, budget ABS. The maze box. This thing turned out great. And it moves really smoothly. Nefertiti. Bit of marking from the support material under the chin. I haven't really cleaned that up at all though. 
Just excellent detail. Of course the boat. Kind of got to back up for this one. There's support material in all the cracks. I haven't cleaned that up yet. Still. I know, I released that video like last week. The sail, to get that bend, it prints flat. I just left it on the build platform and turned the heat up to, I think, 80. And then peeled it off and folded it really quick. And here's the small boat. This one won't show much because it's been stained and everything already. But it turned out great. I'm loving that wood filament. Here's that Deadpool logo. I've been having trouble getting the version of Kerr that I'm using to actually pause. So I had to use the pause button under the SD menu on the printer. And I was kind of late, so there's only one layer of red. But that is awesome. Yeah, it's not really a white. That's the M3D Pearl. So all those prints are pretty sweet. They all turned out really good. Again, they're all at 0.2 layer height, except for the OK hand. Uh, that's the model that came with the printer again. So, so far this thing sounds great, right? But, of course, as a review, I have to point out some flaws. My biggest problem with this printer is the MK10 hot end. I kind of would have rather had a J-head, and I'm kind of thinking of putting the J-head that I have on the way for the raw stock on this instead. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, the fan... Well, that's upgradable, it's not a big deal, but the fan's not really pointed right where it needs to be out of the box. Uh, a lot of people just turn the fan a little bit. I just printed a circular... Uh, fan shroud, whatever you want to call it. They're available on Thingiverse. I'll put some links to mods in the description. I'm also going to build a collection on Thingiverse with just the mods that I've used on this Wanhow. It is kind of loud. It's louder than the M3D. It's not the loudest thing I've heard. Uh, my older computers probably actually just as loud, really. So noise isn't really a huge issue. Like I mentioned in the unboxing, the cord for the heated bed kind of gets caught on the back there. I printed out just these little spacers. Uh, they just provide a ramp instead of a ledge. So if the cord does end up there, it just slides up the ramp instead of getting caught on a ledge. It's pretty simple. So that's about all the negatives I would have for this printer. Drop my Raspberry Pi. So, to recap, the positives, it prints great. Uh, the prints that come off this thing are awesome quality for 0.2, and when you go up to 0.1, it's even better. Um, like I said, out of the box, it goes together and it just prints. Um, it's open source, so you can change things if you absolutely have to. Uh, you can actually get the entire firmware. It it runs Repetier or Repetje, I'm not sure how you say it. But uh, so you can control it from the computer, you can control it uh, just right off the SD card, and you can actually control it over the internet through your Raspberry Pi with either AstroPrint or Octoprint. I wasn't able to get Octoprint running. Uh, I didn't even get 
to the point where I could actually pick a 3D printer, which is odd because I did get it set up once before for the M3D. I didn't spend much time on it, so it was probably my own error. But AstroPrint just worked. I put AstroPrint on the Pi and I have been printing over the network from this thing. It's pretty awesome. Uh, the Raspberry Pi 3 just came out, so I would recommend you go get yourself a Raspberry Pi 3 and put AstroPrint on it if you're gonna get one of these machines. Because being able to print over your network and from anywhere in the world and check on your prints and stuff, that's just awesome. I love it. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It's a great printer, out of the box, just prints. A uh, few issues with it that you're gonna wanna uh, just print modifications for basically. And again, the MK10 extruder. You may want to switch to a J head. There's a J head adapter available on Thingiverse. You may want to just leave it alone. I don't know. I haven't even decided yet. The extruder does work, as you've seen, it prints great. The problem is switching filaments. The filament gets caught down in the uh, Teflon tube in the cold end of the extruder assembly. It's a problem. It's not catastrophic. So, in conclusion, would I recommend that you buy this printer? Yeah. This is a great printer. For $350 American, $650 Canadian, yeah. But for $350 American, this is amazing. $350 American is what I originally paid for the M3D. This, the M3D has a 4.5 by 4.5 build platform. I can't remember what it is tall. Maybe 4 inches. That's Imperial, by the way. This has an 8 inch by 8 inch by 7 inch build platform. And it prints amazing. So again, would I recommend you buy one? Definitely. Anyway, that's about it for this review. This is the Wanhao Duplicator i3, and thanks for watching. If you liked it, click that like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Uh, click that subscribe button for more. And if you feel like supporting the channel at all, I now have Patreon. The link is in the doobly-doo. Have a good one, guys.